Hey everybody, it's Chainsaw Reacts back once again with another reaction for you guys. Today I got some checking out Metallica and San Francisco Symphony Orion Ben Zimmerman version. I'm so fucking excited for this. I cannot wait to listen. It's been waiting all day patiently to get home to listen to this fucking song. I just can't wait. So a couple days ago, if you guys don't remember, I reacted to Metallica and the San Francisco Symphony Fade to Black Ben Zimmerman version. And what that was, was a live performance of Fade to Black with orchestra bits added in by Ben Zimmerman on his channel and basically turning it into an SNM version of Fade to Black, and it was amazing. It was so fucking good. Highly, highly recommend checking out the, my reaction, but mainly go to Ben Zimmerman's channel. I'll actually link this Orion video at the very top of the description, of course, to check out the original video, of course, from Ben, who actually made this. And then from there, go listen to Fade to Black, because that was fucking awesome, and I'm expecting amazingness here. Now, in my Fade to Black video that I reacted to from Ben Zimmerman, his SNM version of Fade to Black, I mentioned Orion. I doubt that he saw my reaction and then did Orion. I think he was probably working on this beforehand. I'm not really sure, but all I know is that he commented yesterday, I believe it was yesterday, saying, hey, I just uploaded Orion, SNM, check it out. So he's waiting for my reaction. And trust me, I've been patiently waiting all day to get home to check this out because I'm, this is going to be amazing. This is going to be fucking amazing. I was kind of hoping SNM 2, they would have done something different than Call of Cthulhu again. But it is what it is. But now we have Ben Zimmerman's version of Orion. He's already proven himself with Fade to Black, which was an amazing uh, rendition of the live performance from Metallica and then his orchestra additions added to it, which made it amazing. Sounded like SNM. It was fucking awesome. Version of Fade to Black. And he has The Unforgiven. I was going to check out The Unforgiven, but then he's like, Orion. So I'm going to stop rambling at this point. I explained way too much, but I wanted to make sure everyone's on the same page what this is, uh, just in case you're not aware. And uh, yeah, let's get into it now and check out Orion SNM basically. Ben Zimmerman's ben Zimmerman version, blah, long day today. Ben Zimmerman's version of Orion Metallica SNM style. Let's go. And I will pause if need be. I'm going to let it play. Here we go. I'm ready. I made sure this shit was loud too. Oh, Ugh. this is going to hit different than Fade of Black, I already know. It's going to hit different for me. Oh, that picture. Yeah. Oh my God. It's so good. That's nice. Adding some variety, you know? Ooh. I like how they're coming in and out from playing along and doing their own stuff. Ooh, that. I like it. It's awesome. Ooh. I love the strings, you know? I think those are strings. It's awesome. Regardless, it's fucking awesome. Ooh. Go back just a little smidge. I like that little dun 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 dun, dun that little part. Get into that riff, which I love that riff. Here we go. I like that. <laughs> What's amazing about this is that we already know the song, so it's discovering all the stuff that Ben added in for the orchestra part of it. <laughs> oh, a slide. I like how the, the orchestra is playing different stuff. It's not just following along. Because that's the, that's the simple version of doing it. I 
I'm not ready for the middle section. I'm not ready. Oh. I like how it's coming in and out. Sometimes following, sometimes not. It's a good balance. Okay, we're getting close. We're getting close. Okay. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Not overpowering this section, the orchestra just there to enhance it to make it even more amazing. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh yes. Oh yes. that to high heavens in the fate of black one. Why is it not real? Okay. We're getting close to the bass solo. Nice, nice thing in there. Orchestra came in a little bit. Most of letting that part play out as needed. Ooh. Yeah. fades in like the, the first two sections they came in fading in and Ooh, the 
base. Cliff, uh, not Cliff, sorry. Rob. I was, I was wishing it was Cliff. Good job, Ben. That was amazing. Oh my gosh. So good. So good. If only this was real. God damn it. See, I see the Unforgiven. The Unforgiven. I only had to pause it once. Do that one section. I just wanted to, I, I really wanted it just to play, you know what I'm saying? Um, I think it's, I think it's great. I, I, and honestly, too, I really didn't think too much about this, but I'm kind of glad Ben went with the angle of live, a live performance instead of using a studio version, adding orchestra parts. Because it doesn't, it wouldn't sound like SNM. It would just sound like someone just added orchestra parts over a studio version of the song. But with the live performance, it feels like it's SNM because they've only really performed SNM stuff like live, like that, you know. So it would fit more in line with what if if it was on SNM. So hearing this, obviously there are there are things obviously they would change if they actually did a an official SNM version of Orion with Metallica and the San Francisco Symphony. Or any symphony, for that matter. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't have to be San Francisco specific, but it'd be different. But based off this, what Ben has done here, this sounds amazing. It is truly awesome. And if you, if for the, if you've heard this for the first time with my reaction, shame, because you should have seen it on his channel first. You should have stopped my reaction and watch and listened to it. There's nothing really to watch, but he, you know, but with the first video he did for Fade to Black, there was, he was using footage from S&M, but with it, with this, it's just picture. So I like the picture you used too with Cliff. That was awesome. It was amazing. But you should watch it on his, you should watch it and listen to it on his channel first and then watch my reaction after. That's only fair to the people who actually put the work into the videos that I watch, whether it's a trailer or something like this created by somebody else. Because at the end of the day, I just sit in front of a camera, I get to enjoy stuff, I get to talk about stuff, review it, critique it, whatever. But ultimately, I'm here just to give my thoughts and all that on something, and he actually put the work in in creating it. So, you should support Ben and all that. It's awesome. It really is. I love the, the variety of it. I like the fact that there's at times, and I was mentioning during the video, was playing... I like how sometimes the orchestra is following what the riffs are doing, but then they're switching up completely and doing something else that matches. Because that's exactly what happened with the first SNM. When I first heard that for the first time, SNM, I'm like, this is really fucking weird. Because at first I'm like, it's not Metallica, like it's Metallica songs, but there's there's stuff in there that's completely different that doesn't that you, I haven't heard before because it wasn't on the version I heard on the studio. You know what I'm saying? So it it really changes the song. Like, it, it, basic, it basically gives it its own version. So, like, hearing the Outlaw Torn with the orchestra, it's the Outlaw Torn live. But realistically, it's another version of that song entirely because there's stuff in there that the orchestra's doing that the band has, did, didn't do for the Outlaw Torn. So, like Orion here. If they were to do Orion with s &M, it would have parts in it that make it stand out and technically be Orion s &M live. Because it's its own version of the song. And what you've done here, Ben, is basically created a new version of Orion for people to listen to. Like, if you want to boil down to its simplistic thing, that's what you've done. But you've done much more than that. You base instead of you just having the orchestra follow every single thing the band does, you created parts for them to play, to really accent certain things, and to really enhance parts. The middle section, I think, was beautifully handled because you could have easily... Did have the orchestra do all this crazy shit during the middle section, which is basically Cliff's break in the song, that amazing bass part, and then, of course, Kirk and James coming in with those beautiful lead harmonizing bits. And then you could have easily made the orchestra overpower it or them doing all this crazy stuff. You, you allowed that part to do what it needs to do in terms of... that's To a lot of people, that is the best part of the whole song is that middle section that leading into of course cliff's bass solo that whole section so the, so the start of cliff's bass part bass riff into that middle section that starry atmospheric thing and then ending on his solo i like how the orchestra wasn't heavily used in that they were enhancing certain parts because that part in itself is beautiful enough it doesn't need 
too much, but you did a great job there. Then having the opening riffs and then dun 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 that riff and the opening riff dun 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 adding those awesome parts of the orchestra was really well done. And then having, of course, I think yeah, like I said, this was it was Cliff Burton's birthday, I think, when this performance was played. I can't remember exactly. I think I actually reacted to this live performance. I think they put it out. Um, but having that bit at the end was, was really nice. And so overall, it's amazing to listen to. It really is. Because at times, I'm listen- I was listening to this, and with the Fade of Black one too, I'm thinking, my God, this is so awesome. Oh, this is not actually real. Like, it's not actually Metallica. It sounds that good that it, I, I'm like, it's like, why isn't it real? Because I could easily picture this as an actual performance of Metallica in the San Francisco Symphony performing Orion. Or Fade to Black. I don't know. But anyways, thanks so much, Ben, for letting me know about this. Uh, someone else sent it to me on Twitter a couple hours after your comment, but I saw your comment pretty much right away. Uh, I was going to check out The Unforgiven in a couple of days, but then you dropped Orion, so I'll check out The Unforgiven, of course, uh, in, a, in, a, in a bit. I want to don't want to put out too much Metallica videos back-to-back because, you know, I want to add some variety on the channel. But I will check out The Unforgiven and whatever else you decide to do because I saw where you were commenting. I saw people's comments on the Fade to Black one, and you were, they were saying, like, do this, do this, this, and you're like, oh, hmm, interesting, hmm. Like, you're you're working on stuff, so I'm curious to see what else you drop because this is truly awesome, and I just can't believe it's not been done before. But thank you for doing it because you are proving that this is an amazing concept, and it fucking works because now I have a new version of Fade to Black to listen to. Now I have a new version of Orion, and when I listen to The Unforgiven, I'll have a new version of The Unforgiven to listen to, and whatever else you decide to do. So please... If you like doing it and people love it, please continue to do it because I'm not going to complain. I want to hear all of it. <laughs> so anyway, hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. Thank you so much, Ben, once again for this. If you guys want to check out, of course, like I mentioned earlier, the original video by Ben, the Orion s and Metallica version, his version. Link at the very top of the description for you guys to check out on his channel. Support Ben Zimmerman on his channel. He's got other content besides this stuff, so go check out his channel if you guys are interested. Hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. Talk to you guys soon.